What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear or lose your gear because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today, I just want to come on here and do a video I've kind of been dreading doing um, because my bag is loaded out. But uh, this is the Ozuko Urban Chest Sling bag. Um, so I've had this bag. I've been using it for a while. Um, I was carrying the Gudium crossbody bag up until, I don't know, a month ago or so. And uh, then I started carrying this because I got this. So I got this bag off of Timu, right? I'm not usually on Timu. I mean, I know a lot of people are. I didn't even know about it until Conan from Conan's uh, Easy Dad Carry told me about it. And now, like, everybody's on it. My daughter, my wife. And um, I was on there looking around, and I saw this bag, and I said, well, you know what? It reminds me a lot of the bag that I like the most, which is the Alpaca Gear Ghostling Mini. It has a very similar setup. It's almost exactly the same. There's some subtle differences, but it's a very, very similar, similar setup to that bag uh, with a few differences. So I figured I'd pick it up. And uh, this bag on Timu was $20 and some change. So I got it, they sent it to me. And then I went back on for some reason or the other, because I was showing it to somebody, uh, the link and everything, and it was like on sale for 18 bucks. So they actually gave me the, the difference. They gave me the $2 back. So um, that's pretty cool. So I only actually paid like $18.42 or something like that for this bag. And you know what? It's solid. It really is. I didn't have a lot of high hopes, but it's pretty solid. I guess this company has been around for like quite a while, like 20 years or at least since the 90s or something. And uh, they have their own website, which I will link. They have their Timu site, which I will link. They have an Amazon store also, which I will link. Um, so, yeah, so you can go on there and pick up uh, some of the other bags that they have as well. Now, I did reach out to these guys about some information because there's not a lot of information on the Timu site. But uh, I didn't get any uh any kind of response so i did reach out to them on whatsapp and like i said got no information so as far as the denier of this goes it's all speculation um i did some research and uh i'll just let you know what i uh speculated as i guess so let's get into it this is the ozuka urban chest sling um so it is a pretty cool bag it is made out of uh, Oxford. Oxford, which is a polyester material. There's also a uh, nylon Oxford as well. Um, this is the polyester one. Um, the only reason I know that because inside it says it's made out of 100% polyester. And on the website, one of the few uh, details that they do give is that it is made out of uh, Oxford. So as far as me reaching out to them, I reached out to them to ask what the denier was. Really didn't get, like I said, any information from them. They did not respond to me. Um, so I'm just assuming with research that I've done, they say that the, like the standard, uh, version of this Oxford, uh, polyester Oxford is like 420 D. I guess that's like what everybody kind of uses. So I'm assuming that it's 420 D. Um, like I said, it's speculation. I don't really know, but it is pretty solid. It hasn't exploded or got torn or anything like that since I've been carrying it. So that's pretty good. And, um, yeah, similar to, uh, what Viperaid uses on their, their pouches. Uh, I guess Viperaid uses a 500 D Oxford and, uh, you can feel a difference. So I'm just assuming it's similar to that. And, uh, they do say that it is waterproof and, uh, these are not YKK zippers. Uh, they are probably their own branded zippers and this tape is not AquaGuard, but it's very similar. And these are actually pretty good zippers. Uh, they meet up really well, actually, to be honest with you and um they're long and they're easy to grab so pretty cool and this tape just adds to the uh waterproofiness of it if that's a word which it's not so the front of it and the bottom of it have this tpr material this is a, a rubber like an actual rubber and it does have a uh fluorescent stripe um you can hit it with a light if you can't find your bag or something and it lights up so i thought like this rubber uh, was gonna like get ripped and torn and everything and it really hasn't it's actually held up really well and I'm surprised but this stuff is absolutely waterproof as well because it's made out of like rubber um, so like I said it has a very similar setup as the alpaca ghost sling mini um, it has a uh, nylon I'm assuming adjustable strap and it does have the strap keepers here which I'm not using it has a I, I'm assuming this is a patented clip they call it the X clip so it just goes in and out like that um, which is actually pretty cool because it's got like this little uh, groove here. There's a groove here and this slides into it. 
Um, so that's pretty cool. So if you want to remove it that way, that's cool. I don't usually do that. I just, you know, carry it however. So it is, like I said, adjustable and that's cool. Then, um, it has these flaps that it's attached to and it has some pretty solid stitching right there. Uh, and on this side, so it's stitched really well, as you can tell, um, on both sides. Uh, so that is, uh, really, really good to see. And then the thing that it has that the Alpaca Ghostling Mini does not have is a handle. So this is a nylon handle and, um, it's actually really cool. I like it a lot. It has very good stitching here. This X stitching like Maxpedition does, um, on both sides. And then it has their branding right there, but this is actually padded. So inside there's some kind of, you know, padding, which is really cool. And I like it because if you are, you know, I carry these like in my truck and I'll set it on the passenger seat. And a lot of times you just got to reach over and grab it like this because there's nowhere to grab it. This has a handle. You can reach over and grab it with the handle, which is actually super cool. Um, and I like that a lot. So now as far as the setup goes, there is a front compartment um, right here. There is a main compartment and then there's a compartment in the back. Of Like I said, again, very similar to the Alpaca Ghost Sling Mini setup. The inside's a little bit different. Um, but it's not <laughs> the uh inside has let's say because I, I have this bag loaded out so inside it has a large dump area right here but it has mesh pockets now the alpaca gear bag actually has two pockets as well but they're not mesh um they're just regular uh just you know solid pockets i think that those are made out of ripstop nylon so uh inside of this I'm not really sure what material this, this is. It doesn't really say. Like I said, I didn't get any information from them. And I'm not really sure on the leaders. And I know I spoke before about the leaders of the bags and how, like, they're, they seem like they're way off. Like, uh, you know, they just don't match up. But this is very similar to the Alpaca Ghostling Mini. So I'd say it's probably, like, around a 4-liter bag. I mean, you know, I mean, that's a guess. Again, more speculation. I'm not really sure. But um, that is a possibility that that could be what the actual size is. So it got a little bit sunny there, I had to move out of the sun. But anyway, it does have a large dump area in here and then these two mesh pockets. Now, I just threw a couple of dude wipes in there, but you can get quite a bit of stuff in here. I have the uh, Zero Feud uh, ouch pouch in here. And uh, that is the cup, but that is the small one. So then I also have a small pepper spray in there. Um, and uh, yeah, so I have that in there. Like I said, this is the Zero Feud cup. I just made it into an ouch pouch. Um, I've had this for quite a while, and there's some band-aids, a whole bunch of medical stuff inside there. So really cool pouch. You get a chance to check out Zero Feud if you can. It's hard to get this stuff sometimes, so you got to be on it. Um, over here, I have a Viper Aid, small Viper Aid pouch with lighter in it, a, uh, a little pen. Um, this is a Nikkor Tube V2. Um, and then another flashlight, which is the Coast uh, G22, and along with one of these little pry bars, the skeleton pry bars there, the Punisher. So I have that in there. Um, and then I have a Duke Cannon tactical lip balm. So that is what, oh, and I have a uh, F301 compact in there too for an extra pen. So I, that's what I got in that. So pretty useful. Uh, I like this setup here. Um, you know, you got like a lot of room. I could get more stuff in here than I have in there. I just didn't want to jam it out more than it already is jammed out. So, um, but you can get a lot of stuff in there. So it's pretty cool. And then in the main compartment, what do we got? So you have two pockets and then this is where the difference come in. But let me tell you what I have in here now. Strangely enough, like I was saying about the, uh, <laughs> the difference in liters and how they mention it. The Alpaca Gear Ghostling Mini is four liter bag. I cannot get this in that bag. This is my Chrome Industries uh, tech accessory pouch. I have my uh, backup batteries and chargers and all the cables and stuff in here This will not fit in that bag, but somehow <laughs> it fits in this bag I just feel that the x-pack isn't as giving as this polyester. So that's why it fits but that's um, I have that in there This is my uh, my tech accessory pouch and like I said, I have all my batteries and stuff in there Let's open it up. Let's see what I got in there. So I got my batteries. I got the cable kit from lever gear I got some other cables uh, All the ones I need the lightning cable USB-C micro USB uh, This is a anchor power core select 10,000 mAh. This is an anchor power core slim 10,000 and then here are some more adapters for the uh, cable kit so that is what I got in that pouch and that like I said fits and it won't fit in any um, uh, of those uh, four liter bags by alpaca, which is weird. So um, I did a video on this quite a while ago If you want to go check it out, you can go back and um, just check it out. So Two pockets right in this one pocket in the front. I have a James brand uh, Palmer, which is a uh, you know, just a utility knife. So I have that in there 
And then I have a Gerber suspension. I've had that for a really long time, actually. Uh, I got some uh, Happerton nail clippers. This place is in Massachusetts. Um, and then I have the Bit Vault by Liver Gear, which I use a lot. And then down in here in the other pocket, I have some maintenance meds, blood pressure medicine, and some uh, allergy pills, as well as uh, what else is in there? Tylenol, Advil, something. I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff in there. So the difference in with this is that it does have the same two pockets like this in the main uh, area of the alpaca bag, but it doesn't have this. So this, uh, with the branding, is one, two, three pockets. They're meant for carts, like uh, credit cards, right? But I don't have credit cards in there. I got just a little uh, fidget spinner in there in that one. Uh, in this one, I have just a random Timu pry bar that I got. I forgot that I had the other one in the Viperade. And then I have this uh, small knife. This is a uh, M390 Tucson knife. TS257, I think. Um, yeah. So I got that in there. It's just to, you know, just have an extra blade. And then it is Velcro. So you can lift it up. And then you have another pocket here, which is pretty cool. And it's uh, meant for like a tablet or something. But like I said, I don't carry a tablet. So I got some... Uh, Hot hands. There's a lady that works for me in the school. It's always freezing, so I bring these with me. Um, I have some uh, hydration uh, relief powder for some of the kids when they, you know, don't drink water because they never do. Uh, then I have a Right Bites uh, by my friend Cody at Harper Like Press. Uh, so check those guys out on Amazon if you get a chance. Anything else in here? Yep, I have a brick uh, in case I need to plug it into the wall. So that's what's in there. And then the cool thing behind that is a zipper pocket. So in the zipper pocket, got some more dude wipes, larger uh, one. I have a bandana I got when I was in the Cape just to clean up messes. I have a F301 and a Milwaukee's uh, permanent marker, like a Sharpie. So I have that in there. So holds quite a bit. Um, and it's super cool because like I said, you got this pocket and then a hidden zipper pocket. So that's pretty awesome. And then on the back, yet another pocket. <laughs> and in this pocket I have a Gondak EDC Hank, the Halloween glow in the dark one, and a coin a friend of mine that passed away gave me, and that's all I have in the back of that. So, that is the bag, um, and that is the stuff that I have in it, and that's the stuff I've been carrying around with me as EDC in my EDC bag for quite a while, um, minus the stuff that I, is on my, uh, my person. Stuff that's on my person is tier one, this would be tier two. So, like I said, a lot of this stuff I use, you know, kids, you know, at school, I got the the wipes and if I don't feel like taking these out of the back I got these and uh, I can just give them one of those or something as band-aids uh, all that stuff and then the thing I use the most honestly is the batteries uh, for my backup but this is the Ozuko urban chest sling um, I will link you know the Timu site on uh, this video as well as uh, their Amazon page, and I will link there also their actually their actual website. Now this is the camouflage pattern, which I actually like. Um, super cool. It's not the most gray man, but you know what? It's actually pretty cool, so I got it. And um, yeah, so it's a solid bag. Uh, like I said, I wasn't having a lot of hopes off of Timu for you know 20, 18, 20 bucks, but it's surprisingly good and surprisingly solid. And uh, you know what? You can't go wrong for 18, 19, 20 bucks. If it shits the bed, it just shits the bed, whatever. You only lost 20 bucks. As opposed to the you know, the, uh, the alpaca gear bag that I have, because I'm an alpaca ambassador, that's an $85, $90 bag. You know what I mean? So this is a good option, good budget option to get with a very similar loadout and some actually pretty cool uh, side features as well, like this, uh, you know, this card pocket right here and uh the hidden uh zipper pocket back here which is actually also really cool and again it is super stretchy and uh, you can fit stuff in there that you know won't fit in other four liter bags so if you get a chance check it out it is the ozuka ozuko urban chestling